Hi, my name is Mackenzie, and I'll walk you through how to use our rent collection tool here at SingleKey. Once you log into your account, you'll be brought to the tenant report screen. Come across to the top and click on rent collect. So we're going to set up a new tenant today called Tom Tenant. Let's go click over on new rent collection. You can create a new tenant if you haven't already done so. All the tenants that you see in this list also are tenants that have already been pre-populated with the information they filled out on their rental application and credit score that you've already pulled. So in this case, we'll use Tom Tenant. Select the unit, rental unit that applies to them, or you go ahead and create a new unit as well. Here you can change any of the information that's been pulled from the rental application if you want to update for your needs. You can also, of course, set month to month or put an end date if you have a term lease. In this case, we'll month to month. We'll start for the first of the month for a rent of $2,600. We'll click on continue. We already have a bank account connected, but we can click on change and we'll go through the same process as if you were to set up your bank account for the first time. So we'll click on connect new bank account. Connect via bank is what you want to do. Let's demo it with our VoPay account. Select the bank account you want to use. And click on connect. Once you got your bank account connected, click on continue. Most likely your ID will already be verified if you've been using your single key account. If not, you'll see a pop-up, which is where it verifies your selfie with your government issued ID. Now that you're done, all you have to do is click on fish and an invite will be emailed to the tenant to have them set up from their side, their bank account information. Okay, now let's go over to the rent collection page again and we'll go through managing your ongoing rent collections. Okay, here we are at the rent collection page. Across the top here, we can filter on all, active, and archived. All will include invites that have not started rent collection. Active are rent collections that have received money and are in progress. So here we saw the invite we just sent out for Tom Tenant. We can go ahead and decide to cancel this one if we no longer want to use it and to go ahead and cancel the invite. And now we can click on archive to hide it from review. So here's another invite to the same Tom Tenant and that's actually already in progress for a different rental unit. So we can click here and modify next payment. Let's say they have payment issues, they've reached out to you and they can't make the payment on the first. You can reschedule it for another time in the month and click on continue, or you can simply skip it and click on continue and collect the rent through other means, whether it might be cash paid at the office, an e-transfer or any arrangements that you've made with the tenant outside of our rent collection tool. Let's scroll down and look at different situations you can run into with the rent collection. So we're going to click on Garfield here for an example, and we can see uh, a bunch of past transactions. Here, when you expand out the transactions, you can see each line item for each month, the rent paid, the status of it. In this example, November 1st was skipped, and so this rent was paid outside the system. We can see here on September 1st, the rent failed due to non-sufficient funds, and it was resolved offline. Every time a transaction does go through, you can click on the view receipt. Here you can have the choice of emailing a copy or downloading the receipt as a PDF. But now we'll go through the tenant invite. Okay, here's a perspective from Tom the tenant. So he's gonna click on get started. So here Tom the tenant has showed a screen to confirm the key details of his rent collection he's about to set up. Click to connect via online banking. Just like the landlord or the property manager has done, the tenant will go up through the same sign up process to connect their online banking. So we'll skip this part. Once the online banking has been confirmed, the tenant is shown a confirmation screen again, reviewing the key details of the rent collection, and that's it.